Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me today. At about 4.04 a.m., I believe, local time, there in New Hampshire, there was a, a earthquake. I believe it was a magnitude 2.68, but USGS said it was a magnitude 2.2. 12 people said they felt this earthquake, and USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. Here's the felt reports. We got one down here by Springfield. And all the other reports look like they're in New Hampshire. Um, intensity level 4, close to the location where it occurred. And they're not giving me names of the areas here. So I'll just have to zoom in and see what we can see. Yeah. Okay, we got Franklin. Um, Sunapee Lake. Let's see. Plymouth Town. I guess that's the town of Plymouth. Um, Ashland Town. Now, intensity level four means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rattling. And automobiles parked would have been rocking noticeably. New Hampshire is capable of having a magnitude six or greater earthquake. You can see here. Um, 1638, a 6.5. Uh, what else do I got? 1940, there was a 5.6 off the coast. In 1755, there was a magnitude 6.3. Now, New Hampshire, um, has a history of having a magnitude 5 or greater about every 60 years. And currently, it's about 20 years past due. Uh, for what they consider having magnitude fives or greater. Yeah, 20 years overdue. But that is just an average that they uh, figured. They took all the historical earthquakes and yeah, figured out um, what the average would be. And that would be about every 60 years. And again, they're 20 years overdue. So maybe you were woken up. Did it wake you up? Um, how did your pets react? prior to that earthquake and what have they been doing since then yeah um a magnitude five would be considered a fairly you know moderate sized strong earthquake that could cause damage yeah sixes would definitely cause a lot of damage and a lot of people probably are not prepared for a large earthquake of a magnitude six or greater New Hampshire doesn't really have any um, faults to speak of other than ancient faults, but we've seen how a lot of these ancient faults have been reactivated of, le uh, of late. Let's go to this area where they had the 6.5 in 1638, and I want to take a look at some of the buildings that might be in this location and how they're made. Brick structures would probably be the worst type to uh, be in. Wooden structures would probably be better. You can see here, this one looks like a a brick structure. And then we got another building down the road here. Um, what looks like it's probably an older building. It's got brick chimneys. Those would definitely fail in an earthquake. Um, but being a wooden structure, it would hold up better. It could be this other building, could be wood and just painted with, uh, you yeah, know, the color that looks like it's brick. There's some barns behind, more than likely, yeah, those are wooden structures. A little bit farther down the road, yeah, we got another wooden structure, but it's got a brick, um, yeah, chimney. I don't know if that's for the heating system or if they got a fireplace in there. Let's go a little bit farther down and see what we got. All right. Yeah, it looks like more um, wooden buildings. I really don't see any overpasses or bridges. So that's good.
being so early in the morning when it occurred, uh, most likely people probably just put it out of their mind and never bothered to report that they felt it. But there was 12 responses. So I'd like to know if you felt this earthquake and what it felt like, what direction did it come from, how long did it last, and are you earthquake prepared? Like I said, you're 20 years overdue for a magnitude 5 or greater. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.